Hey friends, it's Jessie and it's that time again. It's time for my Pamela's eyeshadows update. If y'all didn't know, this is my absolute favorite video to film every month and I cannot wait to share the progress we have today. Before we jump too far into the video, I actually filmed this look using the new Nomad Verona palette. This video will be up tomorrow. It's a three looks and review video. So if you're interested, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out when I upload that. But let's go ahead and dive into the progress. So this month I actually have two bonus pans. Our first month of panning in 2023, I've already hit five eyeshadow pans. I'm not gonna share every single pan in this particular video because some of them are for my A to Z project pan, so I don't wanna spoil those. That update goes up in a couple weeks. But I'll start with the first bonus pan I hit and that is a Super Shock Shadow from ColourPop. I managed to hit a pretty decent sized pan in the shade Tassel from ColourPop. Like I said, this is one of those super shock shadow so it was actually pretty easy to hit pan on I like to use this one over matte white shadows so my go-to everyday look especially if I'm going to work or something I'll do just a nice warm neutral crease with a white on the lid and then top the white with this shade and that was how I hit pan I use it pretty much all the time it is the perfect white shade it has kind of like a clear base so you're not feeling like it's too white or not pigmented enough it just adds that nice sparkle to any look and the second bonus pan i hit comes from my abh modern renaissance palette and the shade that i hit pan on is vermeer which is this nice kind of pinky shimmery shade it is a pretty tiny pan still i just hit it the other day but my goal is to expand all the pans I have in this palette because this palette deserves some more love. So with our two bonus pans out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into the rest of the progress. So in order that I rolled them in, the first shade we rolled in comes from my Too Faced Natural Lust palette. And the shade that we have rolled in is Set in Stone, which is this matte brown right here, just kind of like a warm neutral brown. I used Set in Stone 15 times this month for a grand total of 15 uses in the project. Set in Stone has been super easy to work into looks. It is just the nice neutral brown shade. When I haven't used it in all neutral looks, I have also smudged it on the upper lash line, the lower lash line. I love using these types of shades as just smudger shades because you can mix it into literally any look and it looks fine. As a whole, we're starting to see a touch of wear on this shade. I definitely think it'll take me a hot second to work through this one. The Too Faced shadows are just so densely pressed and so pigmented that it really doesn't take a whole lot and if you've seen any of my panning projects I take forever to pan Too Faced shadows so I'm hoping eventually we'll get some more use out of it but I'm happy with 15 uses so far. The second shade I rolled in it comes from my J Star Thirsty palette and the shade we rolled in is Lick which is this bronze shimmer shade right in the middle. I used Lick a total of three times since last update for a grand total of three uses in the project. I personally am not the biggest fan of this shade. I find it very dry and I do know quite a few people left comments on my intro suggesting I use this shade with like setting spray on my brush. And normally I do use setting spray on my brushes when I do shimmers of any kind. It's just kind of like my normal routine. But whenever I do that, it gives it like this weird hard pan layer. So I really find myself having to use it dry with my finger to get the best color payoff. And I still just am not a huge fan. I mean, I am going to continue to use it obviously because we've only hit three uses. And I do have a little dip forming in there. I don't know if you can tell, but it is a pretty soft shade. So I have been able to form a dip in the shadow so far. I personally have found my favorite way to use it is as a base for a bronze shimmer from another palette. So combining two bronze shades. That's usually what I like to do if I'm working on a shimmer that I'm not particularly loving is I'll find a similar shimmer in a formula I do like and then combine the two. So that's how I've been working on it. I mean, three uses is not the best, but I'm excited to see where we get to in the next month. Shade number three comes from my ColourPop Quint. Is that what five is? It is the Quint Melt For You. Um, so something just happened. This shade just completely fell out. That shade completely fell out. So I'm going to have to figure that out in a second. As I was saying, the shade we've been working on is Sweetie, which is this kind of like creamy touch of peach shade. I use Sweetie three times over the past month for a grand total of three uses in the project. And we are not looking very different. The ColourPop mattes. It takes a hot second to start to notice anywhere. Reuses, like I said, it's not my best, but 
I, I'm happy with three uses. I've really worked on some of the other shades in this project, like Set in Stone, ones that I knew were going to take me a little bit longer just so I could get some initial use on them. So I'm hoping in the next month that I'll be able to use Sweetie a little bit more. Would y'all be interested in seeing a video where I just go through and repress all of my Broken ColourPop shades? Because I have a stack formed of ColourPop shades I need to repress. I also have like a Lunar Beauty one. Let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. I'm not the best at repressing, but I'll do it for the content. Shade number four comes from another Too Faced palette. This one is the Too Faced Sweet Peach. And the shade that I've been working on is Caramelized, which is this brown shimmer at the bottom. I am not the biggest fan of brown shimmer shades like this. It is just not a color I typically like. I used Caramelized 11 times over the past month for a grand total of 11 uses in the project. And we are starting to see the very slightest dip forming in this shade. I have used Caramelized primarily as a lash line shade. I will take it on like an angled liner brush, smudge it on my top lashes if I'm not doing winged eyeliner. I've also combined it with Set in Stone and smoked that on the lower lash line. It's a pretty easy shade to work through. Is it my favorite shade in the world? No, but I am pretty happy with 11 uses considering that I have been focusing on a couple shades in my A to Z project pan that might've been a little bit more colorful. I'm just trying to get all my color schemes to kind of line up again, but I think 11 uses is definitely not bad and we'll definitely be seeing more progress in this in the coming months. Shade number five comes from my ColourPop Dallas Mavericks palette and the shade that we rolled in is Run and Gun which is this matte gray shade. I have used Run and Gun three times over the past month for a grand total of three uses in the project. And as a whole, I actually very much enjoy this shade. I like it more than I thought I would. I find it's very easy to work into cool tone neutral looks because it doesn't look so much like a gray. It kind of looks like a taupe. So I've actually enjoyed combining this one in particular with my Sultry palette. I've done some kind of like taupey looks. I'll do a cool tone neutral in the crease mixed with run and gun and then I'll do like a silver shimmer on the lid and I've really liked how that looked. I don't think this one's going to have pan in it anytime soon but three uses is fairly good especially considering the progress I've made on some of my other palettes. And last but not least I have a palette I'm so excited to talk about and that is my Too Faced Gingerbread Spice. I am excited about this for two reasons. One, I completely finished powdered sugar in the corner right here since last update. I think I did mention that in my intro that I did want to finish up that shade. I did it. I finished my first eyeshadow ever. I'm very pleased with that. And not only that, but I also hit pan in our shade that we rolled in, Spiked Eggnog, which is right next to it. It is this beautiful champagne shimmer shade. I used Spiked Eggnog a total of 23 times to hit pan. Not sure if you can see it, but I did manage to hit pan. It's kind of hard to see with some of these lighter champagne shades. The pans just blend in so well with the shade, but I did hit pan. So not only did we finish a shade, but we also hit pan in this palette as well. Very pleased with that. I used Spiked Eggnog solely as an inner corner highlight. When I first bought this palette back in like 2017, 2018, cause I keep old makeup. I did use Spiked Eggnog a lot on the lid as like a lid shade, but now I use it primarily as an inner corner. And because of that, I was able to hit pan. So three pans shared in this video. Like I said, I do have some more pans in my upcoming A to Z update. Because Spiked Eggnog was the shade I picked for myself, I am going to be selecting the Roll-In and the Roll-In I've selected comes from Soft Glam by ABH. The shade that I'm wanting to work on is Cypress Umber, which is this really deep brown right here. I do have a fairly good size dip and given all of the brown and neutral shades I have in, oh, that was a bad swatch. Given all the brown and neutral shades I have in all of my eyeshadow projects, I feel like I could definitely work through that one pretty quickly and have a pan by next update. Oh my gosh, I thought I just hit pan, but it was just a sparkle that fell in there. But Cypress Umber, that is the new roll-in that we are going to be focusing on over the next month. Here is the overall color story we have for the month of February. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you guys really liked the progress and I'm hoping by next update, we'll have some more rollouts. That is all for today's video, my friends. I hope you guys had a lovely day wherever you are and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!